I've been trying to film this video for an hour and someone is mowing the lawn right now at like 8 in the morning and every time I start the camera they go like right here Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm starting a new series on my channel called Throwing Shades. I'll tell you the story about the title of the series a little bit later, but essentially this series is going to be talking about foundations I love that need to work on their shade range. I've, over the past couple of weeks, I've fallen in love with a couple of foundations where the shade ranges are not great, and I don't want to be... A hypocrite when it comes to talking about shade ranges and foundations but to me there is a large difference between brands that have bad ish shade ranges but say that they're working on it and brands like beauty blender and tarte that have the money and the resources and the time to come out with large shade ranges but don't and then on top of that have the worst just snotty behavior for a professional cosmetics brand to have. Not only through social media, but overall. So I really wanted a way to talk about foundations that I've come to like that still need to work on their shade ranges. So before we jump into the video proper, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this new video idea and this series. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing, hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So I actually got the idea for the name of this series from my boyfriend. We were sitting down and I was talking to him about how I was liking some foundations with the shade ranges that just weren't great and I really wanted to talk about them and review them but also put front and center that they need to work on their shade ranges and he was just like what if you call it throwing shade and I was actually a little upset because that's genius it, it really is we are lucky that he does not have a YouTube channel devoted to makeup because he would just like put everybody out of business he's just too creative <laughs> So that's what I'm going to call the series. And the first foundation that I'm going to start with is from Catrice. This is the HD Liquid Covered Foundation from Catrice Cosmetics. And I have the shade 030 Sand Beige. I'm wearing it today. I don't have to mix this. It's not a 100% perfect match for me, but I can wear it without mixing anything and I don't look like a crazy person. This foundation has impressed the hell out of me. It is affordable. It actually is full coverage. I have breakouts down here and over here and it covered them up. It does look like skin. Like I do agree with all the claims that the, com the company makes about this foundation, about it being mattifying, about it being like a second skin effect. Except for the 24 hour thing, like I've never worn a foundation for 24 hours. I don't think anyone needs to wear a foundation for 24 hours. But I agree with all the other claims about this foundation. I bought mine at Ulta, and at Ulta there were only four shades available, 010 through 040, um, so very small shade range. Now, before anybody jumps at me and tells me to go look at the website, I was doing research for this video, and I found on Ulta, on CVS, on every other like drugstore website, they only had four shades, right? looking at the Catrice website. I don't know how recent this is because I know I think they've only had four shades for quite some time. They expanded the shade range and now they have 18 shades. That's incredible. I think that is how it should be done. Like Catrice wasn't a brand that came out swinging about their shade range. They released the four and then said that they were working on it, worked on it, and came out with more. And not only that, they do have like darkening drops. Like I know this isn't a perfect solution, but you can use this to darken foundations. Of course, you're not going to get really any darker than this, but I think for a smaller, affordable brand, this is a great step to take. Now, I didn't know about those new shades until I was actually sitting down here about to film this video. So originally, my rant was going to be, you only have four shades, what's going on? My rant is now like turning to, why is every store only carrying the four shades? 
I think they're falling on this fallacy that darker shades don't sell, which is ridiculous. Of course they do. Look at Fenty. I think we definitely need more options for affordable, large shade ranges at the drugstore. I know Maybelline does a really good job of this, but Maybelline can't be the only brand doing it. Maybelline's a huge, you know, multi-million dollar brand. I think if we're going to open the door and really set an example, we have to support the smaller brands, the more affordable brands that are trying and that are doing their best within the brand to expand these shade ranges. So I'm turning my focus from the brand to the stores. That being said, I really don't know how recently they expanded the shade range. This could have been like this week, I don't know. On the website, all the shades still say new on them, so I really don't know how recent the shade range expansion has been. But I'm definitely going to keep my eye out and see if they're actually going to release the rest of the shades in stores like Ulta. Ulta definitely has the room. I see a lot of Ultas where they've got the Catrice section. I think they should focus more on the foundation. It's a great foundation. I have combination skin. I love this foundation. I'll talk a little bit more about how I like the foundation and what I've been using with it a little bit later. But just to finish a little bit of my rant on the stores, we need to encourage this type of growth and this type of behavior from more affordable brands. And the way to do that is to get this visible. Like, I didn't, I had no idea. I was planning a video on this foundation. I had no idea that they had expanded their shade range. I have not heard from any, anybody on YouTube that the shade range has expanded. I think that needs to be more visible. The first place to make that more visible, I think it relies on the bigger box retailers like Ulta, like CVS, to actually expand not expand the space, but for Catrice to work with them to get the rest of their shades in stores. Now with that rant out of the way, this isn't exactly how I thought this video was gonna go because I was 100% sure that like there was only four shades and I was gonna go off on that, but with that out of the way, I do want to talk about how much I actually enjoy this foundation. I'm gonna throw up just kind of video and pictures of me applying the foundation and putting it on. My favorite way to apply this is just to literally use the dropper on my face and then go in with my flat top kabuki from Sigma and just blend it in. And then once I get the coverage that I want with the brush, I go in and I smooth it out with a sponge. Once it's smoothed out, I look airbrushed. I look flawless. Like, look at the video of me. I have not been, like, this enamored with an affordable foundation, with a foundation at all, in a long time. I've worn this to work. I've worn this out on dates. I've worn this out and about. At the end of the day, I still look just as great as when I put it on. I've tried this with different primers. I find that I actually like this with a glowy primer, but I also really like this with pore refining primers, especially the Luminizing Pore Refiner Primer from Dr. Brandt, I think it is. Yes, Dr. Brandt. <laughs> Had to go look at it real quick. Um, I tried this with the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. It looked really nice with that as well. I tried this with the Fenty Matte Primer worked really well. I've also tried this with the Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physicians Formula. That one's not my favorite illuminating primer, but it still looked really good with this foundation. It's actually at the point. Everything I do with this foundation looks good. I'm shocked. I have not seen this foundation perform bad on me yet. That being said, I've also tried this with a bunch of different concealers. I've used the Tarte Shape Tape, I've used the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay, I've used the Flower Beauty Concealer, and I've used my Kylie Concealer. My Kylie Concealer being one of my holy grails. It looks awesome with all of them. It really does. Again, I've tried this with different face powders. It looks great with mattifying face powders. I also really like this with the Hourglass face powders because it gives you just a little bit of a glow. <sighs> I just can't say enough good things about this foundation. Again, this is an affordable foundation and you get a glass bottle with a dropper. This feels luxurious. This feels better than some of my high-end foundations. All in all, this is a foundation that shocked me. Absolutely shocked me. I've mixed this in a different foundations to lighten other foundations and it's, it's a really good mixer too, especially because you already have the dropper. It's so easy to just add a couple of drops here and there to help out another foundation. I cannot say enough good things about this foundation. 
and I'm so happy that they expanded their shade range. So please go take a look at their website. I will link it down below. No affiliate links or anything. Obviously, I'm not being sponsored. I'm not big enough for that. But please take a look at their website. They have a shade finder where you can like go by your undertone and then try to figure out what shade would be best for you. Unfortunately, they're a, an affordable brand, so all of their things are um, shrink wrapped, even at Ulta. So you can't like test shades out there. I got really lucky and was just kind of doing this with a bottle and picked this shade. So if you're near my complexion with warm undertones, I would say go for 030. But I also picked up the Darkening Drops. I've been testing this out with a few other foundations, and I actually really like them. So if you go lighter, it's always easier to darken it up. Or if you go darker, you could always lighten them up. They have Lightening Drops too, but personally, I just like to use lighter foundations to lighten up darker foundations. So that's everything I have to say about this Catrice foundation at the beginning of this series. I do plan to do some more videos on some different foundations that also have shade ranges that are quite garbage so let me know down below if there are any foundations that you would like to see in this series because i still want to give you guys information about foundations that work and foundations that i have been loving so i don't want to just not mention a foundation but i also really want to focus on the fact that these shade ranges need work so thank you guys so much for watching hope if you liked it you'll give it a thumbs up and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye